is Jeff Clark, Sorcerer's Apprentice. I went to three estate sales over the weekend, and I got some good stuff, and I'm going to make a bunch of money. Ready to see what I got? All right, so the first sale I went to, um, it said estate sale, but it also said slash moving sale, and there were no prices on anything. So I said, uh, okay, so, you know, we just make a pile here. She goes, yeah, let's make a pile and, and negotiate. So this is my pile here. I got a couple of electric um, word processors, and I got an old Royal. Isn't that pretty? Got some cool-looking board games here. Uh, these are new in package. Bodum Le Pot, 11-piece set, and Cook's Essential Ice Cream Maker. Um, three electronics back here, VHS, DVD, in this DJ Rave Water Speakers, whatever that is. Anyway, put this whole pile together, and I said, what are you thinking? And she hesitated, and I could see that she was, like, not comfortable coming up with a number. Now, you guys know the drill here. When somebody uh, doesn't mention a number, you let them sweat a bit, right? Well, I didn't have time to let her sweat. I had another place I needed to be, so I said... How about 20 bucks? And she goes, oh, no, 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 I can't do 20 bucks. I said, well, we got to start somewhere. So <laughs> eventually we landed at $50 for all this stuff. Now, provided these word processors work, I will get, um, if I can list them on Amazon, they'll go for over 100. If there's no Amazon listing, I list them on eBay, I'll still get uh, 70, 80 bucks for each of those. Easily get 100 for the Royal on eBay. Um, Board games, these all have listings on Amazon. Prices aren't fantastic, but uh, I'll definitely make money off of those. Bodum, lots of good uh, sales history on eBay, right around 50 bucks. Cook's Essential, also history on eBay, around 70 bucks. And those are, again, those are brand new in package. DJ Rave speakers, I really couldn't find these. I'll probably still list them on eBay. Um, you know, I didn't look those up on Amazon. There might be uh, might be an Amazon listing. And you guys know the story of electronics. I'll easily get uh, 50, maybe 100 bucks or more for the, uh, the the combination there. Anyway, that was a pretty good spend of $50, right? So the other two estate sales I went to are more standard. Um, and again, it was on uh, half price day. That's the day I like to go. So I paid 5 bucks for this Hamilton Beach thing. I'm going to explode it sell the parts, easily make uh, 60, 70 bucks out of that. This is an Oster Kitchen Center. I've sold this a couple times for uh, 100 bucks, and I paid 30 for this, and it is super clean, beautiful condition. I will make a lot of money there. I was shocked to see a Vitamix on day three of an estate sale, and even the estate sale owner, he said, I have never seen a Vitamix last until day three. <laughs> so I paid 30 bucks for this thing, and um, I will easily get uh, 80 to 100 for that. This is a nice crock pot in really nice condition. Glass lid, paid 250 for that. I will get 30. Um, I've talked about these before. This is a uh, Corningware stovetop coffee uh, pot percolator and um, these have been recalled by the U.S. government so you cannot sell these on eBay but what I do is I sell the parts I will easily get 25 maybe 30 bucks for the lid after I clean it up that is really gross um, and for the inner parts I'll get another 20 bucks for that too so that's an easy choice I only paid two dollars for that two dollars for this little guy too uh, really nice bright yellow color that'll help sell it that'll go for 15 or 20 Cool little Bakelite radio here, RCA Victor. I hope it works. It's got one crack in the Bakelite up on top. I paid $15 for that. Should get $40 to $50. And uh, got a uh, CRT TV back here. This does not have the RCA connectors. It only has the, uh, the coax. So uh, when I find TVs with just the coax, I buy one of the converters because, you know, it's it's video gamers, retro gamers that are buying these old TVs, and they like to see the RCA plugs. Well, if it doesn't have the RCA plugs, then I buy the um, RCA to Nintendo um, converter and include that with the listing. That'll help sell it. Got a box of eight tracks here. They were all marked. Um, so they were a buck a piece, but I said, hey, how about 10 bucks for the whole thing? And he goes, yeah, sure, why not? Well, you know what? I'm going to sell the case for probably 15. It's a little scratched up, um, but I've been selling a lot of 8-track cases recently for anywhere from 15 up to 30 bucks, depending on condition. The inside is pretty nice here. I might get 20 for that. But um, the 8-tracks, there's a few good titles here. I'll probably get uh, 5, 8, 10 bucks a piece for some of those, Deep Purple especially. Kenmore Filters, this is a brand new in package, last sold on eBay, 25 bucks, I paid two. Paid two bucks for, hello Newman, 
Mr. Newman and his invention, Newman Chimney Cleaners. Listen to this, guys. I paid $2 for this. The last sale on eBay is 48 bucks for this guy, plus shipping. Yikes. <laughs> wow. A uh, little GE clock radio here. Boy, that needs cleaned up, too. That's kind of dirty. Paid two and a half for that. Uh, last sold on eBay right around 15 Five-inch white Sylvania TV. I couldn't find any comps for this. The, the five-inch TVs don't go for a whole lot, but this has kind of a cool space-age design. I think that'll help sell it. Got a couple car radios here, a Kenwood, and this one says Craco, but it's really not. It's really realistic, which is a much better <laughs> selling brand name than Craco, so I'm glad I uh, opened the box on that thing. Anyway, I uh, only paid a couple bucks for each of those, and those sell for uh, 50 each. So my total spend here was $170 at three estate sales. And what do we got here? We got about 100 there, about 100 there. Oh, I can stop there. I've already made money. Woohoo! <laughs> anyway, everything else here is gravy. So give me some comments and let me know what you are finding in your sourcing. Goodbye, Newman.